Hello, I am Dr. Jimmy Douglas and today we will see the difference between glycemic index and glycemic load. Glycemic index is a measure of how fast a food raises your blood glucose level. Glycemic index of a carbohydrate containing food is determined by comparing the glucose excursions or fluctuations of blood glucose levels after consuming a 50 gram of test food with glucose excursions after consuming 50 gram of reference food, white bread. Eating low glycemic foods result in lesser rise in blood glucose level after meals. High glycemic index foods raise your blood glucose level faster. GI is measured on a scale of 1 to 100 and 100 being the highest. Foods which are 55 or less are considered as low GI foods and those which are 70 or more are considered as high GI foods. Low glycemic index foods have values 55 or less and include fruits, vegetables, grainy bread, pasta and legumes. High glycemic index foods have values of 70 or more and include baked potato, white bread, white rice. Our meals should mostly consist of carbs, proteins and the presence of fats makes it a mixed meal which tends to lower the glycemic index. Glycemic load is a measure of how much your food raises your blood glucose levels in one serving. It takes into account both the glycemic index of the food and the amount of carbohydrates in one serving. To calculate the glycemic load of a food, you multiply the glycemic index of the food by the grams of carbohydrates in one serving then divide it by 100. So which is more important for weight loss? The glycemic load is more important for weight loss than the glycemic index. That's because the glycemic load takes into account both the quality and the quantity of the carbohydrates in the food. For example, watermelon has a high glycemic index, which is 72, but it mostly water and has a very few carbohydrates, about 11 grams per cup. This means that watermelon has a low glycemic load, about eight. On the other hand, a slice of white bread has a glycemic index of 70, but it has a more carbohydrate, about 15 grams per slice. This means that white bread has a higher glycemic load that is about 11. So when you're trying to lose weight it's important to pay attention to the glycemic load of the foods you're eating not just the glycemic index. To know the glycemic index of all the food steps visit our website erastoworldhealth.com. Thank you for watching and hit the subscribe button and see you in the next video.